What's up, hobby friends? Welcome back to Paint Bravely, the podcast where you can find a little bit of encouragement, discover new ways to make your hobby more fun, and most importantly, learn to paint bravely. Well, this week is an interesting one. Uh, we have a pretty, I don't know, I don't know how to put it, like not, it's not spicy. a difficult, spicy topic. There, there you go. Even then, it's not really that spicy, but. It's not that spicy. We'll, yeah. We've held back a lot of spicier topics. That's very true. That is very yeah. true. But it's spicy to you, and if it's spicy to you, we'll talk about it, Gacy. I mean, it's spicy enough because it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't like spicy food, so let's get into it. First, before we do get into our main spicy topic, um, I do need to I do need to ask you what you've been up to since uh, we last talked, Brent. All right, uh, Brent coming in with a public service announcement. Uh, first, check the batteries in your smoke alarms, your smoke detectors. Check your batteries in mm -hmm. your carbon mm -hmm. monoxide detectors. If you don't have a CO detector, consider investing in one. They're like fourteen dollars. Um, yeah. And while you're going through and doing these simple routine fixes to improve safety, I think you should consider draining the air compressor tank for your airbrush. Now, this is something, this is a piece of maintenance that I, I didn't know necessarily that I was supposed to be doing. But if you have an airbrush and that compressor has a tank on it, and that t tank has a little little screw on the bottom sometime when that compressor is off and you've drained all the air out of that tank loosen up that screw see if anything comes out because <laughs> you might get uh yeah. several ounces of very rusty water coming out mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah those tanks tend to uh, gather moisture and it collects and uh yeah. I mean, it's the last thing you want is a little bit of that water getting through and, and hitting the tip of your airbrush when you're about to spray some paint and have it just splatter all over your model. It's the worst. So, yeah, that's a good uh, call. No, I don't, I, I don't think that, that water really makes it into the, the airbrush oh, it, too oh, much. it can, though. It can. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I think more of the yeah. issue is that you've got a... A lot of water and compressed oxygen, nitrogen, etc. inside your your cheapest of of Chinese steel air tanks just just rusting away in there, and so yeah. eventually that that cheap Chinese steel compressed air tank becomes a rust tank, and then <laughs> you know so so the nightmare scenario is that that cheap Chinese air compressor lasts longer than your than your cheap rusty air tank and then oh boy oh boy yeah that's uh, true probably just be like a noisy leak that'll, that'll give you a scare one day but probably it just it it pop a hole and then uh all the air would leak out and the compressor would just stay on all the time yeah, I mean, it really depends if it's a if it's a slow leak or a really fast leak. That's, <laughs> uh, that's true. No, no, but for but for real, the the air compressors, uh, they're they're compressing air, and air has water vapor, and somehow with physics, when you're compressing and expanding gases, uh, something condenses from time to time, and water definitely built up in my tank, <laughs> and so. This is something we'd actually talked about, you and I, Casey, of like, hey, we should, or I should, should probably uh, drain mine every once in a while. Do you drain yours? Do you? Have I don't. A, I don't have a tank. No. You don't have a tank. Okay, that makes that easy. You yeah. just have the little water trap under the regulator, right? Yep. That's it. Okay. I also live okay. in a very dry environment. And that's usually, at least what I've heard from people, is that uh, it's less of an issue. But I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, I got all set up for this. I was like, okay, I'm finally going to do this. I'm going to find out if there's any nasty liquids building up inside my air compressor tank. And so I actually took my air compressor upstairs to where I have good lighting and a good camera and everything. Mm -hmm. I, I set it up on blocks to give it a little bit of height so that I could put a, a clear plastic cup under it. Yeah. I got a, a sweet video shot of taking out the nut of this air compressor. <laughs> and I got several ounces of just thick, opaque, rust red, brown, 
water (laughs) (laughs) some the first time i saw this i saw this picture that you posted i I thought that the glass you had under was it had ice in it and i thought you were dispensing some kind of liquid into like a cup and i'm like why would he post that on a oh i see (laughs) it's this really disgusting like i mean scrag brown uh, looking liquid (laughs) scrag brown that's the exact color uh, for it maybe v8 uh tomato juice that's gone a little bit bad or or the one that has higher carrot concentration in it right right. (laughs) a little orangey brown scrag brown yeah so Anyway, that little video clip is pretty funny because like a lot comes out and then it just starts like pulsing out like every right. every couple of seconds, another just another squirt goop. would come out. <laughs> and and I guess that makes sense, you know, when you uh, you have like equalizing pressures and stuff, but it kept going for a long time and I'm pretty sure it, it wasn't like bubbling, you know, when they're, you know what I mean? When you just like put a, put a water bottle upside down yeah, or something. Yeah, the air like comes out and then a thing glug. comes out, yeah. Yeah, and it kind of cycles between mm-hmm. glugs and, and the water falling out. Yeah. But it wasn't quite that. It was just like, I'm, man, I, I, I really <laughs> want to just like cut that, that tank in half. And like, what the, what the heck is going on in here? I, it's I, not I'm just imagining idea. like a, like a colony of rust creatures, like fanned <laughs> out throughout. Rust throughout crabs. Space. Yeah. yeah. Rust crabs, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. You got the rust crabs. The entire in your, civilization. Your yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I, I, I still have the nut out now, and it's been hours, and water is still coming out of this mm-hmm. thing. Have so, you thought um, about? Sp- I mean, I guess spraying it would be counterproductive, but like, you know, hosing it out somehow and just seeing how much you can get out. If I had a second air compressor, I'd blow air through the hole. <laughs> It's a good or, idea. you know what? I could just turn on the air compressor and see what happens. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> actually, not, <laughs> it's not that's like not a, the it's worst not like thing. Kind of, yeah, you definitely actually, do that. it's not a terrible idea. You'll build up a positive pressure in there, but it's not going to be a ton of positive pressure because there's a big hole in the bottom. So exactly. maybe that'll actually work out right. It might burn your compressor out. I mean, if you left it on, I guess, but I don't know. That's, that's a problem a for future Brent. Yeah. It's it's very true. Future Brent, uh, look back at this video. <laughs> See how naive yeah. you were. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, uh, so I spent a couple hours before we hit record here trying to figure out how to make Instagram videos or failing that, I'll learn how to make a TikTok video because that's, that's just the perfect <laughs> little clip of taking this nut out and then this just <laughs> disgusting liquid falling out of my air compressor. Yeah, it's like the same process, but yeah. So, um, if you at home haven't tried airbrushing, someday you should. It's fun. And if yeah. you have tried airbrushing and you have an air compressor that has a tank, just just planting that seed, you know what's living in that tank. Crabs. It's not pretty. Scrag it's, it's, it's crabs. A, a, mm-hmm. Scrag crab yeah. rust civilizations. And... um Hey, you too could start a little TikTok account. You know, get your phone out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, start start thinking about what kind of sweet music you want in the background, but get yourself some good lighting. <laughs> get it all set up right. Take that nut out of the bottom of your your air compressor tank. Mm-hmm. See what happens. Yeah, you never know. Yeah. <laughs> or at least if you're gonna do it, uh, tag Brent in the video so we can. Yeah. We can watch. Oh it. yeah, you you gotta tag me. We're we're starting a trend here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, what's the hashtag for this, Casey? Um, well, I don't know. Uh, Goobertown. Rust compressor. Rust R- compressor or... Rust talk. <laughs> hashtag. <laughs> hashtag uh, drain the tank. No. Yeah, there you go. Drain. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag drain the tank. There you go. I like it. Got like, it. Okay. We got it. We got it. Landed on it. Oh man. Well, speaking of uh of hashtagging and, and taggy people, uh before we before we get too deep and um you put up a poll on your Twitter account not too long ago. And this has been like kind of an ongoing joke that we've been having. Um but who is Drist de Erden? Yeah, should be do, like Do a, you even know who Drist de Erden is? Exactly. Yeah. Uh apparently 
45.7% of people that answered this poll, which was almost 700 people, know who Drew Stewart is. 24% uh, of people. No, 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 no. What? Uh, what? No Drizzt well. Okay, so that's what you there, put. There were three options I know on this Drizzt poll. Well. Yes, I know Drizzt well, vaguely, uh -huh. as in vaguely, I know who Drizzt Erden is. And then the third option is who or what is a Drizzt? Mm, I see. Now, okay. The some of you will definitely remember this because I know you've commented, I've seen your comments, and I've seconded those comments, but um I pose that more people do not know who that is and i still believe that i'm technically correct um because on the vaguely and who or what is that basically is is you know a much higher percentage i mean yeah if you're gonna add the people who kind of know who drist is to the people uh, who don't know yeah sure yeah so yes i know drist well I had what 40 45 46 oh, i got the numbers here Yes, I know Drizzt well, 45.7% uh -huh. of respondents. Vaguely, 30.4%. Yep. And who or what is a Drizzt? Less than a quarter of you at 24%. Mm -hmm. Now, full disclosure here, I did tag this poll on Twitter, hashtag D&D, &D, hashtag Dungeons and Dragons. That's going to bias the respondents. If you, uh, uh, actually, that's very good if point. you're following those hashtags, you're a little more likely to know who Drizzt is. But even then... Even then, 24% of people just flat out did not know. And then 30% of people were like, I, I guess. I've, I've heard of this person. I don't know what this thing or person is. Whatever vaguely means. I'm just saying, that's a pretty big number of people who are just like, I, I don't really know what you're talking about, kind of, sort of, Brent. And, and my point is that you were speaking to a Warhammer crowd just assuming that 100% of people know what you're talking about. And right. I well, said, that well, is not true. Me. It's not 100%. <laughs> uh, that was your point. Uh, now, for all of this, it just tickles me, like the stupid nerd knowledge that accumulates in our brains. It's true. And, th and this is one of those things that's, uh, that's outside, like, popular TV, popular movies, popular video games. Uh, Drizzt is only known in... Uh, that corner of the bookstore you know right it's uh the it's, r.a it's, salvatore it's a little section. more of a niche it's a little more of a guarded knowledge that uh you should be ashamed like if you're part of the 45.7 <laughs> percent who know drizzt well <laughs> it's uh, a good point that should come with a sense of shame but also a sense of uh of irony and, and a right. little, little quirky smile it's like why <laughs> why is that in my brain like <laughs> that's very true like why why do you know so much about we this can, person we, we can set this aside no it's just it, it always amazes me you know what uh, the world is a strange place and I suspect that I'll go to my deathbed, like still knowing the the toughness wound charts of uh, you know fourth edition forty k. You know. Yeah, I know what you mean. I can I can visual I can see it. You know, in my head. Right. Stupid. <laughs> yeah. No, I just wanted That's to right. to get that out of the way because that was that was a pretty uh pretty contentious hot topic for a little bit we, there. We've cleared up uh, the, the plurality uh, of yeah. people definitely know Drist very well. Uh, the plurality of people is right there, getting getting close to fifty percent. But you're right, Casey. It is not one hundred percent. So uh, <laughs> yeah. I think we're I think we're both right. Uh, and it's okay. That seems fun. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to forgive you for knowing who Drizzt is. I'm going to forgive you for not knowing who Drizzt is, and we can move right along. <laughs> we can move right uh, along in, exactly. until I start painting my massive collection of Drizzt figurines. Uh, uh, we'll, yeah, we'll then revisit we'll really the topic see. then. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> <laughs> that'll be what you paint. Well, I painted uh, twelve Drizzt models. What? 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 Do, what you do you know who that about? is? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. Yeah. Uh, you. Uh, you ready, Casey? You, you, you ready? I'm ready the for main what? topic of the day, tagging people, getting tagged. Yeah, we can talk about that. So I had an interesting uh, an interesting morning, I suppose. So Brent and I were up. Uh, I don't even know what time you were up. It was late. It was like three in the morning or in the morning your time, something like that. It was late. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we, were, we were talking about this podcast, what we were going to talk about. 
You know, uh, we were going to talk about out. we were going to talk about painting <laughs> monsters. That would have been That's a true. fun topic for today's episode. Yeah, and, I even uh, have them on my desk still. They're like literally sitting here. Yeah, we've been we've been painting monsters. There's some things we like, uh, you know, fun textures, fun colors. Fun. We're not talking yeah. about that today. We're we'll gonna talk about that later. Later, because a l- little bit of a uh, little bit of a news story happened, didn't it, Casey? New, yeah, news. It's it's newsworthy for this podcast. I don't think anybody else cares. <laughs> it was, but, it was uh, newsworthy for you. Look, I, it, it was. Yeah, I woke up this morning on the mm-hmm. East Coast again. I was up late with you last night. I I crawled out of bed. Like, let's be honest here, like nine thirty or so, and mm-hmm. uh, I check my messages, and people are like, "Oh, Casey's got some stuff to deal with. Casey's Casey's uh-huh. some, taking some heat over on this Facebook group." And, yeah. uh, so, and and I'm like, ooh, Casey is taking some heat over on this Facebook group. Uh, well, I'm sure he'll deal with it when he wakes up. Like <laughs> in at least three hours. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> yeah. So, like, um, I made a video about painting a Seraphon Carnosaur, and in just like in most of my videos, I I post up pictures of me going through Google images of going like, that's cool. This is cool. That's a good color. Like whatever it is, I make basically a mood board of a bunch of pictures or I save them on my computer and I have them for however long. And that's how I collect different things to then use as like reference material. If I like a certain color combination or whatever the case is talked about it literally hundreds of times, like hundreds of times. And for some reason, um, somebody decided that they didn't, oh, it wasn't that they, they didn't like the fact that one of their pictures was in the video, but that I didn't properly cite them. So they wanted me to remove the video, like get the money for the video. And then they got a bunch of their friends to then gang up on it and type all these pretty terrible ass comments on the video. <laughs> Just saying a bunch of mean shit, basically. Yeah. Um, so, so, now so I, starting I, uh, off here, the the origin of this was somebody who painted an awesome carnosaur, mm-hmm. and it probably was the the carnosaur in your mood board that you were most excited about. I think that's that's fair to say, right? It, I thought yeah. it was probably the nicest looking one, or the one that I, that spoke to me the most. Yeah. 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 So you had your mood board of like a couple of different painted carnosaurs, like mm-hmm, a couple mm-hmm. of different just actual lizards. Uh, oh, real lizards. Yeah, of course. Uh, Gotta have that uh, if you're painting dinosaurs. And um, yeah, so so one of the people whose carnosaurs you, you flashed up in the video for, you know, five or ten seconds, mm-hmm. um, you know, made a Facebook post. is like, hey, I was, so I was featured sort of in this video but not credited and i think they didn't know how to feel about that maybe um and then they apparently left you a comment on your youtube video apparently i mean i don't know what it would have been like three in the morning your time or who knows who knows (laughs) and the the rest of the story is that youtube apparently filtered their comment or deleted their comment which uh well that's a separate thing we'll also talk about but it happens yeah. Oh, yeah. um yeah especially especially uh if this person was like oh hey this was this is actually my paint job like here's a link to my instagram or something Couldn't like yeah, if you're <laughs> if you're dropping links to to like leave youtube uh higher chance that your your comments are going to get filtered Mm-hmm. by 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 youtube um but anyway uh, i think this person thought that you deleted their comment so that's what they said yeah they they had said to other people too that that i had deleted the comment of of him saying hey this is my dinosaur uh well, I, yeah. I have no idea what else he said but that's that's what he said yeah so um, so youtube on on our end, sometimes YouTube just flat out deletes comments and we either never see them or like half the comment shows up briefly on our phone as a notification, but then it just doesn't exist. That's the weird That's, one. When I they click on it and it's like yeah. comment not found, and it's like, oh, I guess. Okay. But but yeah, YouTube straight up uh <laughs> disappears some <laughs> comments. 
uh, a small fraction it like hides for review like it doesn't post on your channel mm -hmm. but we in the backside of things have like a list of comments that were held for review um mm -hmm. and then the, you know the rest get posted as normal yeah um but but apparently what happened is you know this this person uh who do you want <laughs> <laughs> we'll decide whether to say the name based on um how we're saying like i'm i'm in a good mood about all this uh, oh i i am too and, and to actually today, so. i should mention that i've talked to this person his name's fernando um yeah, okay that, that's what i was getting at should we should we say that fernando uh, uh noda was it yeah noda um i yeah. should double check my phone just to make sure <laughs> you know but um and, and yeah, starting like, off here I, Again, very well painted Carnosaur. I thought it was yeah, inspiring. Nice. Also, yeah, yeah, it was very nice. Yeah, um, no, like him, him and I have already talked about all this stuff, and it's like totally fine. And we're gonna hang out at Zepticon. Like, that's the plan. Sure, so, yeah, well, not we'll, not even we'll a big deal. Dinosaurs sounds great. Yeah, yeah, I think it sounds great. Um, or he's gonna murder me. I don't know which, but whatever. <laughs> Either way, I'll see him there. Um. <laughs> I'll bring my the, camera. The point, <laughs> there you go. Uh, so kind of what we wanted to talk about, I guess, pertaining to this issue is that, that he was unsure how or if I should have cited that work. Um, and what we wanted to talk about with this is, is when should you cite your work or, or your inspirations or uh whatever it is or like when does it count as just straight up wholesale stealing something or i don't know just in general when should you cite your stuff yeah um so a lot of this is just etiquette and like art communities and, and whatever uh um yeah so i feel like if you know who did it uh you should probably try to cite them if you mm -hmm. remember uh you know um you know in this situation you know if you got it from google image search and it was just sitting in a folder of yours for years uh it, yes, it's been a few months to, yeah okay yeah, i mean anyway. if you'd remember to to do it like a reverse google image search and then find the whatever instagram account or whatever the original source was yeah could have done mm -hmm. that could have done, done that, that. yeah Cool. Um, I don't know the the image that keeps occurring to me in this situation is like you found some awesome graffiti at the park and then you took some selfies in front of it mm -hmm. uh, like yeah an, an artist did that they put it out into the world it's out in the world people are enjoying it and uh, making it part of their lives uh, but you may not know who did it I don't know I mean yeah well let me let me clarify something too um the paint job that I ended up with looks nothing like this particular image. Um, it's got some I used, similarities. It's, it's got some similarities. I mean, as far but... as as far as like what, I didn't use the same colors. They're, That's they're true. Not the same. Yeah. They're not the same colors. So <laughs> I don't know. Like I don't know how similar it could get. Like no, I honestly, it's it's like looking at them side by side. I've I've done the comparison. It's not even close like uh yeah i don't know i could i could probably point <laughs> out other pictures that look similar as well i don't know it's like yeah. it, it's not the same paint job like my comment about the actual picture in the video was i like this color combination because of the contrast that it brings like his is straight up just straight red and straight blue and mine is red up to orange and yellow and like a, a kind of a dark teal like i actually use like inky by darkness and then the the writer is not blue it's jade so it's green and i'm just saying there's not really a lot of similarities but as far as i use this picture for like inspiration was kind of like i like this color combination Let's move on to the next thing. Yeah. So there's the, I guess there's the issue of um, how much it actually inspired you in your work. And then there's the issue of inspiration versus, you know, copying or whatever that, which is a separate right. issue from 
uh, you know, getting a little bit of production value in your video from displaying an image that they created in your video for I don't know, 10 seconds or whatever. Um, yeah. Well, and I've, I've in the past, I've done that. I've gone like, Hey, I want to just straight up. I'm copying this, this paint job because it's really good. And I want to learn how to do that. <laughs> and that was the point of the yep. video. Um, and in yep. that case, yeah, everything's fully sighted and you can see who painted the model. And I think I even put links in the description. Uh, in this case, yep. I didn't even know who painted the models. <laughs> And uh, right. it was in a folder on my computer. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I'd say, like, ideally, cite when you can, uh, partially just because it's a great way to meet other people in the community, get introduced to other artists you might be interested in, find, kind of find, like, a trove of other stuff they've done that looks awesome. Mm -hmm. We interrupt this program to bring you a cat getting into trouble. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. Uh, I mean, yeah, so so as general best practice, uh, cite whenever you can, um, you, you know, just to, to make those those connections, maybe get some other people to check out this this cool artist. Maybe they've got some some other dinosaurs and creatures that they might be interested in. Um, but uh, yeah, re recently I actually put a, a work in progress picture up on Instagram and Twitter of a troll that I've been painting. And I got the troll model off of Thingiverse, which is kind of the Google image search of 3D printed models. Uh, you know, just a, a free database of varying qualities of mm -hmm. STL files. And yeah, so I, I, I did find a troll I liked. I printed it off. I've been painting it. And, I, you know, throwing up a quick work in progress picture. And at the last minute, I was like, eh, you know what? I probably do have the name of the sculptor on here. And I just real quick, I did say like, uh, I got this off a thingy verse from uh, Yasashi, who mm -hmm. at the time I did not know. But yeah. within a couple of minutes, like, like I... um actually found out that i had been following their instagram account i just didn't didn't make the connection before <laughs> That's uh, funny. but a, a couple of minutes after i posted that you know somebody tagged uh yasashi's uh instagram account and said like oh look look what brent's doing and so is kind of a way to to make a a little bit of a personal connection to another artist who i think is doing cool stuff and uh yeah so so there's a lot of good reasons to to tag people uh, if you know who they are, yeah. um, and you know for forget any legal or ethical things like just for for networking and making pals is a good thing to do. Mm -hmm. um, but, no, no, I, I definitely agree. Um, if I had known who <laughs> any of these people were. <laughs> Like, yeah. uh, yeah, it just doesn't, it doesn't yeah, if necessarily you knew who took the picture of that lizard. Yeah. If you knew who, uh... right. And how far does it go? Right. Uh, that's, that's kind of where I'm, I'm landing on a lot of this too. So it's when you're looking at something like kind of on a personal level of like, well, I'm just kind of swapping through this and this like, yeah. Okay. I, I like a certain thing about this thing. And then I just pass it right along. Like that was the use I had for that thing. You know, if I don't know who did it, then I'm not going to necessarily say, and like, like some of the people were just like, Oh, well, even if you didn't know, you should have said you got it off Google. It's like, well, I'm not citing Google. Like, I think I said I got it off Google. I don't know. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. I was just like, so I was looking at pictures and, and this, this one uh, looked cool. So. I don't know who did it. I don't actually think we've talked about this yet, Casey, but um, after there, there was a Facebook post where the carnosaur artist, you know, mentioned that your their carnosaur was in your video and you didn't cite it and a comment they left apparently got deleted. Sure. Um, and so the, the rest of the story that we haven't told yet is there was uh, some attention on this Facebook group on this post. And uh -huh, yeah. uh, there were 
a, 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 a little crew of folks got very invested uh, mm -hmm. in this situation um, because, Casey, you were stealing people's work and mm -hmm. you were deleting comments to try to hide your crime. Um, yes. And, yeah, because you knew to be awake at 4.30 in the morning, like five days after you posted this video, uh, just in case <laughs> yeah. you needed to delete some YouTube comments. Uh, mm -hmm. But but yeah, so I think we were talking, and I think this is your first time getting a, getting a solid social media backlash. And so you've been having... The, Luckily, it seems to have pretty much resolved all in the course of this oh, day. It is, yeah. Cl clearing up the misconceptions, making friends with uh, Fernando, and mm -hmm. uh, I mean, and, basically, yeah, like he he was pretty much like, "Hey, I didn't mean for this to like get out of hand at all. I don't know what happened. It just kind of did. Uh, I I just wanted to to ask you to put my name in the video, yeah, and like but which there I would have there were some people who got out of hand. Done. Yeah. Well, yeah, <laughs> more more than a few. Uh, yeah, um, and the, and then yeah, back on the back on the YouTube hiding comments thing, because because some of the people who got out of hand accused you of deleting their comments as well. Um, yeah, which I'm not I'm not sure about that. I don't know. Well, just as a a little public service announcement, uh, YouTube is more likely to uh, hide your comments if it uses words like cock simp uh th those are some of the big ones like <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah and and uh a lot of the other ones still got through so thanks thanks for that um yeah, yeah. driving my kid to school this morning thinking about like oh, how am i gonna deal with this mess <laughs> yeah. yeah i got a i got a message from a couple of our YouTube friends this morning, they're like, uh, Brent, can you call Casey and tell him to deal with this? And I was just like, nah, he'll, <laughs> he'll figure it out when he wakes up. I'll like, let him, let him sleep. He's a young child. He's, you know, he's got to, got to get his rest to deal with the, the internet <laughs> trolls. Yeah. yeah, it's great. There goes Brent. There he goes. He's off again. I don't know what he's doing. He just got up from his desk without any warning or anything. And now he's back. Sup, Brent? I just had to let Gordon in. I had to let him out a few minutes ago, and then he wanted to come back in. And now he's now he's ran right over to his food bowl, so he's gonna be munching and crunching here. So um, seems fine. Yeah. You know, I mean, I mean that's that's why people come. You know, so, through the, the cat show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how do you feel uh, when you get cited, like on on Instagram or whatever, like? got this idea from from ebay miniature rescues how does i mean occasionally i get i get tagged in something where someone's like hey i'm i'm uh i'm doing this paint job um mm -hmm. yeah maybe a handful of times that's ever happened uh but you know like the reason that i'm sharing the video is because i want people to be inspired i want them to get ideas i don't need you know and, and i'm not saying like that I'm not like passively pushing this off on, on anybody else. I'm just saying I don't personally need anybody to be like, Oh, I'm, I'm taking this. Yeah. Like, that's fine. That's why I put it out there. Um, you know, and art in general is, is supposed to be inspirational. And I, I don't know. I just feel like, uh, at a certain level, uh, like a basic level of just straight inspiration it's fine. Like yeah. I have tons of pictures on my phone. Like if I see something uh, on, on Google or if I see something on Facebook, like I'll just screenshot that and save it for later, put it in a folder. Um, I mean, I've got years worth of Warhammer photos on my phone. It's taking up way too much room on my uh, iCloud. <laughs> like I probably should do something about that. But uh, yeah. unfortunately I just don't, it's like, you can't know every single person who painted something. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, um, with a little extra effort, we could do some reverse Google image searches, and we'd probably tighten that up if it was important. But I've been, I've been thinking. So you yeah. know, of course, I spent a decent amount of time as a scientist, and when we would write like uh, research papers and stuff, you know, getting published and then cited by other scientists is a is a big deal in that world. And yeah. um, 
yeah, like one, you know, making sure that your name is in the author list for papers is a big deal. And, and then two, like making sure that other other uh, research groups uh, around the country, around the world, occasionally cite your work. Like all, all that stuff really matters in that little world. Um, sure. But yeah, when, when, I'm, when I'm painting figurines and, you know, randomly I get tagged by somebody on Instagram or whatever, like, hey, I, I made some homemade washes, uh, kind of kind of like Brent did in that one video. And you know, I'm like, oh, cool. That's that's worth a like. That's that's cool. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Make those washes. Like, cool. But like, I didn't invent washes. You don't need to tag me for that. You don't, you don't got to <laughs> say me for that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you would have figured it out on your own. I, I believe in you. Yeah. I suppose where where my my stance is on the whole thing is that if you're using it as more of like a step by step guide, and this is what I said mm. in the video too. I I I said this like, it you know it's fine to copy someone else because it's it's going to give you a reference like a direct one to one reference like if you're doing it right or if you're doing it wrong right, like if if I'm trying to paint non metallic metal. I'm going to pull up somebody's like impeccable non-metallic metal work and try and duplicate that effect. Um, and in that case, if I was posting a video about it and I've done that many times, I would say, here's the exact reference that I'm using because I'm trying to actually make a copy of this. But yeah. for something as, as much as like kind of like, color selection or color wheel selection um and especially when you're kind of mixing and matching between 50 different eye objects you know it's like the pictures i posted in the video were just the pictures i posted they're the ones that were like high enough resolution that would show up on the video without being blurry right because not every <laughs> google image is like of high quality that's true um so i that's picked true. ones that would show up in the video and i go yeah like this like this like this like this and yep okay moving on like let's let's paint this and not copy what's going on here so yeah. it's like that's kind of where i feel like the line is if you're gonna do that so like i could browse instagram all day right on like a personal level and go i'm gonna paint this thing like this and then i'm gonna go ahead and paint it and i'm gonna post that picture later i don't necessarily need to say oh so and so uh, painted yeah. something kind of similar to this like two years ago that I saw on Instagram like while I was scrolling you know what I mean but if yeah, I was no, I, if I was seeing something I, I, I was like sure. yeah I yeah. I mean I think you get what I'm talking about <laughs> no no I do so I mean first off if you're if you're not posting on Instagram or whatever um yeah you don't need to cite anybody yeah no that's that's fine that's fine if you you know if you're taking mm -hmm. your army to a tournament and you're setting up across from your opponent, you don't need to tell them where where you got your paint screen. You know you don't you don't have yeah. to be like I I took this straight from Kenny Boucher. You don't you don't have to say that. <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> yeah, I mean if they ask, you can be like, yeah, you should check out uh, Next Level Painting. He's he's got a, a lot of great army painting ideas like this. Yeah. Um. But. Uh, yeah, you know, if you are posting on social media, um, one depends uh, how close a reference you use that person for, and and two, if you just want to, you know, tag them, give them a poke, uh, make some new friends, that's good too. Yeah, yeah. But um, I don't know. Anything else you wanted to say on this, Casey? Um, I suppose not. I mean, it all ended well. Everybody's friends yeah, at the end sure. of the day. Um. I just found it to be a really strange experience where I was like, not really sure why, because like, I, again, like I understand citation, but yeah. not for something like on, on that's below my line of like, why would I cite this necessarily? You know what I mean? Um, yeah. I don't know. Maybe my line is just here and it needs to be here. I don't know. But that, that uh, may be the case. Like, no, it's all good. Uh, again, based on, yeah, based on my uh, previous work history, like yeah, citing things was was considered more important, and so I mean, mm -hmm. I I try not to use 
even stock images that's just just the way i go like if i if i yeah. need a picture of vallejo black paint i i take a picture of Vale vallejo black paint <laughs> even if i could uh google one up in a in less time but you know you know um, what the, the one of the big differences between this one this video and, and some of the other ones that i've done is instead of actually like using obs to do screen capture and go on image google search and and like just click on stuff mm. i just had the images already <laughs> you obs to opening up like a yeah moldy old folder on your on your phone yeah 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 pretty much it's like it, instead of showing the process of, of finding these like in the wild um which again hundreds of times yeah. never been an issue but yeah no that makes sense hey live um, and learn you know this yeah i mean the other side of this was just uh watching you know an internet dog pile which is a phenomenon so. of the internet um, yeah it's real weird though <laughs> Right, right, because because there was, mm. I mean, there were like a hundred comments on this Facebook post before the original author was like, you know what, this is not worth it. This is not going in the right direction. This is not productive, and they took it down. But, <laughs> uh, it started getting dark. <laughs> They're like, I think um, I think you you might have good. even slept through part of that actually because there was the original post which got like a hundred and twenty posts, I think, and Damn. um, some of them were out for blood. Some of them were pretty angry that you uh said that you liked the red and the blue from the the google mm -hmm. image carnosaur but, um yeah the, and, that i still didn't and, use and yeah time. then a lot of those people went over to your video and i mean this morning you got several thousand views on your on your video right oh i got like an extra ten thousand views did you really yes <laughs> This isn't a small thing. <laughs> Dude, like, I went to sleep at 20,000 views and I woke up with 30,000 views. Like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, a lot of those were just, you know, people refreshing to see if they needed to, to like, I, it, argue with somebody, but... <laughs> uh, but that's, see, the funny thing, though, is that, that the watch time went up, like, by a significant amount. The click-through rate went up way, way higher. Uh, the video was completely saved. It was like a tank video, 10 out of 10. It, it, and I don't know why. I thought it was a pretty good video. But, like, and then, and then it shot up the list, like, to halfway up, and it's doing great. Well, all right. Uh, yeah. All's well, it ends well. I mean, um, it all it all ended well, yeah. Yeah. So, so I'll... <sighs> One last comment. Um, if if you're witnessing an internet dog pile, um, you have the option of joining one side or the other. You mm -hmm. also have the option of just just sitting back, saying like, you know, I don't I don't know how I feel about this this situation. Let me let me think about it. Let me let me just not leave a wall of comments. Uh, let, me, <laughs> let me let me keep my blood pressure nice and low. Sit back, see how it turns out. See see. I'm sure there's. There's probably a reasonable explanation in there somewhere. Maybe just maybe just not post, you know? Maybe go outside. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, you know. Yeah. But uh No, the I I I'm glad you, you got your your first big big experience with a with a little bit of a little flame war, you know. Live and live and learn. This one was easy. Yeah. Yeah. It should have never really been an issue uh i don't know I don't remember. <laughs> all's all's well that ends well yeah i was just in in the past if if uh you know i didn't have a source for something and i threw something up and it was like i mean i've gotten several comments of like oh man that's that's so cool like to see my my stuff in this video and then i'll have a conversation with them in the comments great that's great like yeah. uh, i thought it was really good I don't know. Like, part of me feels like I'm 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 acknowledging the fact that I like this thing. What I don't know. Whatever. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, just coincidence that we were going to record an episode today. You know, uh, twelve hours after this got resolved or whatever. So. Yeah, because yeah. I don't think we would have been talking about it otherwise. No. Um, no although, no. although it is an interesting, I think it is an interesting topic in it of itself. Like you know what counts as inspiration what and when should you cite sources and all that that stuff 
Like, obviously, more often than not, you should cite your sources, especially if you can, like if you're able. Um, That's good general practice for sure, for sure. Yeah, and and you just should. Uh, Like, I feel like I generally do, so that's why this is just kind of a weird situation for me, I guess. But uh, definitely an interesting morning, interesting day, Um, and uh, yeah, it's all all taken care of. It's all good. So, yeah, we were, uh, originally I was going to kind of wrap in with the fact that I've been painting a troll in with a little bit different framing, but like I said, to... You know, I, I cited the, the Thingiverse contributor who uploaded a troll, and they actually, like, you know, saw that post and responded within an hour or so, and, and now I'm like, oh, man, I, I gotta see more of what they've sculpted, so making yeah. making making new friends all over the place, yeah. Most um, of the stuff I've ever used off Thingiverse, like, I purposely don't share who did it, and I've like, straight up been thanked for that before. Because people are like paranoid that, oh, well, this is like, I don't know, GW might take my stuff down or find it. it so it I, I just tend not to on Thingiverse. Right. You know? Right. So so uh, when I was downloading uh, Power Fists, yeah, when I was downloading uh, <laughs> right. Very yeah, Space Marine Power Fists and uh, uh-huh. Lightning Claws, <laughs> yeah, I, I very specifically did the favor of not saying, right. <laughs> not saying where I got those from or linking to them. Uh, right. Because people will ask, to, like, where'd you get those? They're like, I can't say. <laughs> like, I know this is wrong, but I can't say. <laughs> yeah. Thing of verse, look it up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then go watch Scent of a Woman, and you know, yeah, <laughs> but he's not a rat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, like in, in this case, it was uh, a troll, and also like separately, I've been painting some sculpts, sturges. Yeah. yeah, I mean, a troll, yeah, uh, tro- trolls exist in a lot of places. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're pretty, pretty places. generic and good. Yeah, sturges are more of like a D and D mosquito, but okay. Um, c- yeah, come on, yeah, giant mosquito, good. Well, that's that's the thing, good, right? Like it's work. called yeah, that, yeah. so is it really? Yeah, it's called that, but it's not. It that, actually it the, the model actually looks a bit different from the picture that's in the the fifth edition monster manual. So I don't know. I, I don't know what a sturge is supposed to look like, but uh, it's been uh, a, iterated upon enough not to be the same. But yeah. they drew inspiration. The, they the cite file the was fact actually that they called read that Sturge, book. though. Yeah. The yeah. file was actually called Sturge. Yeah. And that was from Dog Einstein. If you're if you're mm. out there, Dog Einstein. Uh I like your Sturge model too. That's that's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I yep. I gave you a quick citation on my Instagram post, but no one was like, Oh yeah, I know Dog Einstein. Yeah. <laughs> you weren't already following him. <laughs> like, uh, bummer. Uh and I did actually look real quick to to see if I could find Dog Einstein on Instagram. I couldn't. I couldn't. Well, maybe maybe he's not on there. I don't know if they're he's still active. The, or, yeah, the, the dark web different web handles. creating uh, yeah. Warhammer yeah. sculpts illegally. But um, um, so I've been I've been painting some monsters, uh, some D and D monsters, and I've been having fun. And uh, this this maybe gets a little bit into uh, end of the year resolutions kind of thing. Um, but I've been painting some stuff with the camera off, kind of, uh, painting lower pressure just to enjoy it. And I know most of you are not painting with video cameras, so it's not uh, one-to-one applicable, but (laughs) the idea of, (laughs) no, the idea of like a a palette cleanser, uh, I'm not going to care too much about this, or I'm not going to, I'm not going to, uh, put the same standards or stress on this project that I do for, for other projects. I think that's all applicable. And yeah, honestly, I've, <laughs> I've really enjoyed the time I've spent painting this troll and Sturges here. Yeah. And, uh, I, I, I had a lot of fun actually. Um, the, <laughs> Yeah, what Aegis Squidmar? Yeah, he all all Squiddy uh, sent me one of his airbrushes. His uh, Carter Steenbeck forget his name. Uh, Evolution airbrushes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Email. Yes, yes. No, I 
Uh, that's a bummer of a story on my end. <laughs> he asked me, like, hey, do you want one of these? So I just need your address. And I'm like, I'll just forget that for three weeks until they're all gone. Don't worry about it. <laughs> like, <laughs> damn. <laughs> so Brent got one and. Well, everybody else got one except for me. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I've been on a, an airbrush maintenance binge here. So uh, one, I took my old Badger airbrushes and I, I went to my, my rag pile and I took a nice new chamois rag and I laid it out on my airbrushing desk mm. and I, you know, lovingly disassembled to all their parts, my Badger brushes and cleaned them and I actually got out a little can of oil and I oiled Ooh. every moving bit that I could yeah. find in that airbrush. You're like a good old fashioned gun owner at this point. Yeah, no, that's that's exactly <laughs> what I felt like. Uh, yeah, no, I'm yeah. Blindfold I, yourself I, and put it back together. <laughs> man, that's what I felt like. Like, I, you know, I'm I, I've never fired a gun or anything, but I enjoy You've a never couple fired of it. Wait, 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 wait. I enjoy it. You've never fired a gun. Go make a Twitter poll about it. I'm sure that'll be a lot of fun, Casey. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just curious. It's all. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I live in Nevada. Like it's a very uh -huh. uncommon thing to meet someone who's never fired a gun before. Like, cause well, we, I just to have go out in the yeah. desert and we do that for fun. I don't just saying. Yeah, lots of different life experiences here. You know. Well, next time you're at my Let's, house, I guess uh, we're gonna go have some fun. That's what we're gonna be doing. Those cats are going nuts again. Well, some, someday, someday, but, uh, man, this Gordon, I, I just took away his fun foam. Uh, <laughs> the noisy thing. Now he's banging on something no, else. No, no. Well, well, you were talking, well, now he's, now he's using the litter pan and he just That's likes right. to Nothing scratch for that. just as much as he can. Um, it's totally fine. Yeah. He was rolling totally around with good. the sharp stick and I was kind of like watching him. Uh, mm. he was like, like biting and wrestling with this sharp stick. I was like, hey, he's probably going to be fine. And they started messing up my fun foam here and putting teeth marks in my fun foam, so I had to take that away from him. Just did his business. Straight up, Cali wants to go yeah. downstairs. Give, just give me a second. You can take care of this. You know, the sad part about all this cat stuff is that uh, Brent generally cuts it out of his audio, and I don't know why. I always tell him to leave it in, so maybe that should be a poll. We should we should talk about that. Yeah. No, that you're. Do not put a poll of you will you not like the you responses didn't hear what on I said. that poll. Okay. What are you talking right. about? You didn't oh, know we're what still I'm talking, talking about. about gun polls. Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm talking about cats. Oh. You might be able to put a poll on that. Yeah. Sorry. That's what I, I tried of. to jump in without knowing what I was doing. That's, yeah, that's exactly. That's exactly yeah. the problem. That's what I'm talking about. You don't know what you're talking about, Donnie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Old Goober Town Donnie over here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Out of my league. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I was going to say, uh, as much as I know about guns, is that in movies where they just have a gun wall, that's cool. Mm. You know, when, when just I mean, like yeah, a, sweet, yeah. the panel slot, you know, yeah, there's there's a false wall that opens up and it's just, just rows like and rows of guns. Style, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. And two, I like mm -hmm, a good mm -hmm. gun cleaning scene. Where he's just got got the table, puts right. out puts out like a nice piece of leather or piece of cloth or something, and then just starts stripping it all down. And it's mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Y you get the same joy I can imagine by stripping down your old badger airbrushes and you know cleaning out Pretty that much, old yeah. paint, reoiling everything, making sure that trigger <laughs> you know trigger pull under your thumb is nice and smooth. Um, yeah, it's all good. It's all good. So, um, it, it is very similar, actually. I think I just so, told yes. the story that, I, uh, I cleaned my airbrushes. That was the story. That but was the story. I, yeah. I did figure out how to use oil, which is you're mm -hmm. not going to damage anything. Just put on oil on anything that looks like it moves. Yeah, pretty uh, much. It. Yeah. Yeah. Worst case, what a little bit of oil gets mixed in with your, with your paints, which it doesn't well, do. Only, yeah. only until it's been flushed out and gone like you know yeah uh, yeah i've never had an issue with with oil mixing or doing anything weird um i use hops number nine gun oil for all of my airbrushes and that sure works really really well 
sure you do. Yeah. yeah, that's true. All right, you pull a topic next, Casey. A topic. So I, I went ahead and I've been on this kind of like paint buying spree lately. Um, oh. Like got, got the Pro Krill set, you know? Uh, I went out and I got the Duncan paints. Ooh. And then uh, uh, Scale 75 had some kind of Kickstarter for something that came with a bunch of paints. And then I went ahead and bought like the whole thing of uh, Scale 75 Tubi paints, the tube one, the artist paints. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling like all these different paints lately, and I, I think I want to just gather as many as I can to just try. I think that's Those where I'm going to make you a in, good in painter. My, uh, I, yeah, yeah, right, right. <laughs> those yeah, artist paints for those sure. Paints? I've got a good feeling. Yeah, <laughs> I do too. I'm feeling good about the future. Just leveled up. Like, your maybe game I'll be right able to there. pick my own color schemes from now on. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'll just know inherently from these paints what to do. These special triads laid out before me. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of excited about the the scale seventy five ones. I don't know why. Like being in a tube would necessarily. Like, other than that's just how, like, art paints come anyways from an art store. I don't know if it's actually any different. If there's some, like, formulation or if they're thicker or I don't know. But Probably I figured a bit thicker around. if they're actually in a tube. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that'd be nice. I do enjoy a good thick paint. So, I don't know. I'm hoping to, hoping to report on that at some point. Okay. Because, uh, like, none of them have come in. <laughs> so, yeah. It's a little disappointing actually oh like I got the pro I see. that's why you keep they, buying they you, you want one of them to show up yeah exactly i like the pro krills came in i've been like really happy with those and then uh and then the rest of them I'm just like i guess i'll just keep waiting and waiting so i don't know like uh the, the scale 75 ones i figured that's a good like uh christmas present to myself where i write from santa on the on the gift and nobody else knows that it's under the tree kind of thing I'll just go there ahead go. and open that, and everyone else can be surprised. <laughs> Those are the best gifts. I don't know if you do that. Yeah, in, in my family, I don't even know the origins of this, but we write from Mr. Quist. I, I, I don't even know. Have you Mr. Really? Quist, it means like, yeah, it's, it's under the tree, but like they're, I bought this for myself. Like, <laughs> Right, yeah. Like, yeah. obviously, that's what you did with it, yeah. Yeah. Um, that's, from, I have from Santa similar... means it's it's at least sort of intended for the recipient. From Mister Quist is like, I mean, yeah, the recipient gets it, but uh, I expect to also be allowed to use this item. <laughs> oh, okay, that's interesting. So it's more of like a, a universal, it's, like I bought a mixer, <laughs> you know, like it, it might I'm just be a family cookies. tradition for me. I have no idea if Mister Quist is used of, out outside of my family. But, I don't know. I've uh, never heard of it before. But then again, I don't know. I have some weird, weird ones like that too. Like uh, for years, um, we kept a chicken in the house, uh, and he lived in a very large bucket because his legs did not work. So <laughs> I knew this was gonna kill you. <laughs> so. Yeah, you put on those headphones. Listen to this story. So, um, you know, some presents would be specifically from the chicken in the bucket. And this was years of my life. Is that his name, the chicken in the bucket? Was that oh, his yeah. Name? Oh, yeah, straight up his name. He didn't have a name. He was the chicken in the bucket. What the um, fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Have I dropped an F bomb on this podcast before? Casey, what the uh, Why was there a chicken so. in a why Well see Brent, when you live when you live uh with chickens, sometimes coyotes or dogs come for your chickens. And sometimes they don't always do the job. Was you know it know still saying? laying eggs? Or, or uh no, actually it wasn't. No, it wasn't laying eggs anymore. Uh, but, you know, we felt bad, like it, it got attacked and it was injured. So, you know, we took it inside and the, and it just never got better. Like its legs never fully recovered. And, and so I guess she uh, just kind of lived like it was a good, like solid five years, five, six years. Might have been longer. In the bucket? Yeah, it was like in Did a, a nice bed. Did you decorate the bucket? 
Is it I like a five gallon mom, bucket? Is it like no, a no, 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 no. It's like bucket. I, that's cruel. That's cruel. No. Was it a shallow bucket so it could like see out? And yes. Like interact with the world. Yeah, you know, it was out like in the living room. Okay, it could see everything. Now, uh, the thing is, it was in a bucket, kind of like with uh, wood chips in it. You know, you got to clean it out, just like most animal cages, that kind of thing. But, like, it could sit there, and it would make noises all the time, little chicken noises, and it had food, and it had water, and it would give us Christmas presents every year. <laughs> I think I broke Brent, but... Yes. Episode 47. <laughs> I've known Casey Brent for years at this point. It has just <laughs> come out that for a large part of Casey's childhood, his family large pet part, yeah. was an injured chicken that lived in a bucket whose name was the chicken at the bucket who gave <laughs> Christmas gifts as if it were Santa Claus. 100%. Am I yes. getting this right? Oh, that's 100% correct, yes. <sighs> Look, <laughs> if you're still listening, thumbs up the video. Um, Just for thumbs that. Thumbs up, like, subscribe, uh, t- tell your friends about the chicken in the bucket. Um, there's... <sighs> Man, I mean, you know, euthanasia is like a, a nuanced subject, but that's I mean, true. There's a point where you just, I mean, I guess after it's been living in your house in a bucket for a couple of months, you're not, you're not going to eat it, but no. And that, you know, that's, that's, uh, I don't know that was kind of the problem. Like, okay. uh, my dad was like, oh, I'll just take it outside and, you know, just do what you gotta, he couldn't do it. Like, no, like, he just no, couldn't no, do no. it. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, but you know what, like, you could still pick the chicken up and, and pet the chicken and it's like, like, kind of like a, like a pet. Like, it wasn't so awkward. Like, if you've ever had a chicken before, it wasn't the weirdest thing, like. Yeah, it lived so, in a bucket. So, so, so what? <laughs> so was it you or your sister who had to clean out the bucket, the shavings? No. So, man, it's been a while. I think I want to say that my mom took care of that. I don't think I did that. Uh, because I had to do the actual chicken coop, like clean that out, get the eggs, all that stuff. So I was doing the work, right? So not not on me. I'm not the one that wanted to keep the chicken. <laughs> yeah. You know, if you're looking for, for a good project out there, folks, mm. you go on Thingiverse, you find yourself a model of a chicken, and yeah. you just you print it put out. Put it in a bucket. Put it in a bucket. And Dude, that's actually like a really Santa good Claus, idea. You put little, little <laughs> lights around the outside. You know, I never dressed him up, bucket. but yeah. uh, <laughs> um, that's not the worst idea, though. Actually, like as a gift to now, I'm not back on like a personal level here. Like as a gift to people in my family, that would be hilarious. No, that would be that'd be fine. Yeah, a chicken a bucket, and also just kind of put like some Christmas candy in the bucket with the. Oh yeah, I can, I can make like a or whatever about it. There yeah. That's there you go. Use mesh mixer, mesh mix up a, yeah, a chicken yeah. bucket ornament. I like Start it. Start printing, Casey. You got this. I do. Christmas got this. is saved. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I had told you that before. <sighs> Obviously, I feel like not. I would have remembered. I feel like I feel like remembered. anybody would have remembered that. Yeah. Oh man. Look, there's. There's times when I have my headphones off because I'm I'm going and like yelling at Gordon or something, but I feel like I may have had I been listening then, to yeah. you, I would have remembered the chicken in the bucket thing. I did. I swear. I've and so in your house, that was kind of like the the auxiliary Santa Claus. Is that? Oh what yeah, you're saying? yeah, yeah. Not a not a Mister Quist, but yeah. uh, definitely definitely like uh, yeah, something that was you just got presents from. That wasn't from anybody in particular. It was just, you know, stuff. So, not bad. And and was it more of the, the high-end presents or more like the joke presents were from the chicken yeah, in the yeah. bucket? Yeah, low-end or... presents. Definitely low-end presents. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. 
And, and there goes Brent again. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what it is with this uh, particular episode of this podcast. Brent has gotten up more times in this podcast than he has in like the last two years we've recorded. I haven't even made fun of him at all. I don't, know, I don't know. Something's probably wrong with me. That's fine. <sighs> All right. Well, moving on. <laughs> moving on. Uh, you, you want to shill for, for Warp Fire Minis for a second here? We could do that. I mean, we probably should. Uh, I feel like yeah. that's, that's definitely on us to do that. They yeah. are nice dudes. As- as uh, YouTubers, we you know get accused of being shills from time to time, but mm-hmm. there is only one company that truly bribes us, and only one company that we uh, will just shill for, and that is Warpfire Minis. That's uh, true. Warpfireminis.com. That's right. You can go there to get uh, good deals on new minis, good deals on used mm-hmm. minis, good deals on yeah. random minis. So uh, That's Warpfireminis.com. And they, yeah. uh, you know, this plug is not related to them sending each of us a Christmas gift of a dragon. So, uh, no, yeah. not even a little. Not we were, even we were a little. Do it anyways. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're not sponsored by them or anything, but just hey, sometimes they send us cool Christmas gifts. You know, that's true. I mean, they they did last year. They sent me a nice card and a, a Christmas gabo. It was very nice of them. We yeah. do actually like those guys. Yeah. Oh no, we do. Yeah. yeah. We met up with them in uh, Florida. That's right. Where their shop is, about an hour and a half. That's north right. Different of part Florida. of Florida. We didn't get to see their shop, but uh, no. I'm Although we they talked were, they about were moving into a nice new big place. So. Mm-hmm. And I think they're done. Yeah, and it looked it looked pretty nice from what I've seen. It's like a lot of big open rooms, so pretty cool. Yeah. Happy for them, uh, and uh, we appreciate the the dragons. Yes, we do. I do. I, the weird thing is we're both going to end up using them for real, which is weird. Yeah, the day will come. The <laughs> day will come. Yeah. Oh, I got uh, I got something else to talk about here. I Good. wrote down slod. Now, slod. do you know what a slod is? Uh, is that like a slee stack? It's, it's like a... It's like a bipedal frog with claws it's like a like a, claw like a slee frog. stack okay i'm uh, right on the money with this this is great okay i don't know what a slee stack is there you go it's a lot all right so um yeah my local game store was having a paint and take event and went there sat down i think there were eight of us there and um it was kind of fun just to to be around people doing some painting and that we were working off of the Wiz Kids Paint Night Kit, which is Ooh. actually might be the best like paint starter kit I've ever seen. And really? I'm serious about this. It is it's like a big Wiz Kids model, so like not not just a Drizzt or something like that, but like a right. a, a larger yeah. monster. Mm-hmm. So you know, get Sleep yourself an, an owl bear or a slog. Okay, I've seen the owl bear skull ones thing. when they do them. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it's like a, a primed whiz kids, one of their larger monsters or like medium monster, whatever. It's 12 tiny pots of Vallejo paints and two paint brushes for $25. I think is full MSRP. Okay. Which is not bad. Oh, they're Vallejo and, paints. Uh, yeah, they're Vallejo paints. They're. They're in those like strings of like six tiny pots that are stuck together. Oh There's yeah. There's two strings of six pots that are strung together. And uh so I mean Vallejo's nice because it comes in a dropper bottle, except here it comes in tiny little pots. That's and in order to shake them you have to be like shaking six <laughs> paints at the same time. Oh, that's interesting. And um the pots were pretty bad because like some of them leaked and stuff. So you'd be oh, like shaking no. a set of six and like one of them on the edge would be leaking purple paint out. I mean, you um, didn't just for like for real, you didn't just cut them apart. You you probably should have done that. I probably yeah. should have done that. <laughs> I, I kept them together because I wanted to get like more photos of them and stuff. But sure, um, sure. Yeah, probably probably should just cut them apart. Maybe yeah. for shaking six paints. Yeah, yeah just yeah. OK. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah. 
12 different Vallejo paints, two actually pretty nice synthetic brushes, and a decent sized pre primed mini. Yeah, not bad for 25 bucks. It's not, not bad seriously at all. probably the best, uh, like cheap starter paint set I've ever seen, but it's it's called their paint night kits, so it's meant essentially for events oh, okay. like this. Yeah. And I don't think they're in as wide production as they should be, but if you have a local store that's doing a, a paint and take event or running a paint night with, with these paint night kits, yeah, think about it. I had a lot mm -hmm. of fun. I painted a painted a red slod. Mine had a lot of green on them. But painting monsters is fun. And again, this was a project that uh kind of low stress on, don't care about so much, just sit there for a few hours, try some new things, use uh, use some colors of paint that you maybe didn't have before. And uh, I did like a like a stippling texture on this frog. Look, look kind of cool. I liked it. Yeah. I think I saw oh. that. Was it, was it teal? Might have. There, was, there was definitely some, some teal in there, yeah. I think I'm pretty sure I saw it. I liked it. Yeah. On Instagram. Pretty sure. That's yeah, pretty probably. sweet though. Yeah. Um, yeah, because there's not there's not a lot of like good paint sets that come with everything. I think the only one I think of is like Reaper, but even then I don't think that has a lot of good stuff in it. Yeah, I've got maybe uh, it does. I don't know. It's Okay, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know the one you're talking about that has like three minis and a couple of brushes, and it might also have twelve paints. I don't know. I can't remember what the price on that is. It's it, it's I probably it's the closest. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they're full sized Reaper paint pots, but anyway. Anyways, that's pretty sweet. Getting out there, painting with other people. It's got to be pretty fun. It was not bad. You know, made some new pals. That's that's what it's all about right there. Very nice. And talk to my local game owner is going to go to the uh, Gamma convention. So we'll, we we'll check that out, let you know how it goes. So, <laughs> so it's the Gamma is game, and then it's G-A and A-M-A. -A, game. Uh. Uh, now that you say it, it's it's like an industry expo. It's it's not uh, something where where a lot of you know hobbyists go to. It's more of no. It's it's not we're, to the we're public. going as like media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we they've opened up um, passes to to do media and uh, something else that we count as, but um, it's actually in my hometown every year. So oh. lucky for me, I don't have to go very far. <laughs> Brent, on the other hand. <laughs> so there is a possibility that I'll get to see Casey's home in a few months. I'll let you know if he's got any uh, chickens, chickens hiding out in the yeah. corners. Yeah. Mm, can't say one way or the other. I won't but we, we might get another stab at a, a live, in-person, maybe not live, a, a pre-recorded in-person Paint Bravely the podcast. <laughs> Yeah, Something I think I think we can pretty there, much. Yeah, we can we can definitely do that. I think, you know, we'll have a uh, we'll have uh, editor Matt come and join us and make sure that we. Uh, excellent. Yeah, don't screw Most anything. Excellent. I don't ruin yeah. the microphones or something. Um, I was actually a little scared. I think uh, I'm still hoping by the end of this episode, this microphone that I'm using right now didn't completely break, and we're we're using camera audio or anything, but. Uh, I don't know. Hey, I think it's we'll, on its last leg. We'll record so. again tomorrow, Casey. It's, it's all set. If yeah. if we have to, then yeah, that's what we got to do. Oh man, uh, do you want to go through anything like uh, resolutions, goals, anything for next year? We are at the end of this year, which is is kind of nuts. We, it's it nuts. Came this is really the last fast. episode of twenty twenty one. Just a garbage year all around. I mean, it kind of was, wasn't it? Yeah, it's a garbage yeah. year. Garbage, man. I've Another year older, feel like crap. Yeah. 
see how we'll see how 2022 goes but i'm gonna try to do a little more painting for myself that's a little lower stress that's that is one of my resolutions that's the most that's a important good one, one. Yeah. i like that yeah i'm hoping to i don't know paint it's kind of the same thing i guess paint take my time on some things let's see how that goes i'd really like to play in a tournament next year Hmm. Which I didn't think I would want to, but I don't know. The more I've seen tournaments and talk to people kind of in the scene, it's like, you know, that, that just sounds like fun. Yeah. Because I don't get to play enough. So I feel like playing a tournament would be like, well, in one day I played more Warhammer than I have in the last like five years. So <laughs> it feels like a good goal to have. I like that goal. That's That's a good one. I'll put it on my maybe list. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. Yeah, that sounds good. Maybe maybe if you fly to, to Reno, we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll get some drinks and we'll play in a tournament. It'll be good. There you go. It's not a bad idea at all. Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess, uh, I guess we'll see you in 2022 then, huh? That's true. <sighs> and on that note... Thank you again for joining us on another episode of Paint Bravely. If you enjoyed this podcast, please help us out by leaving us a review on iTunes, subscribing to the YouTube channel, and sharing this message with your hobby friends. And as always, we appreciate each and every one of you for listening, and we will talk to you next year. We appreciate you. Happy New Year, folks. Yeah. Even if I don't cite you, I appreciate you. Easy. Easy. But that's true. That's true. It's not, yeah, not true. You didn't say, but it was it was very clear you appreciated. Yeah. Very much so. It was a good page. You appreciated without citing. That was that was I why those twenty people cited. got very, <laughs> very angry. That's true. Yeah. They they were angry because you appreciated. Yeah. Yeah. Which is is uh yeah. It's a lot to they think weren't about. Angry about it, it's what it is. That's fine yeah. A lot to think about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't see anyone sticking up for that weird little colorful lizard thing. Not a single person no, not a single suited person. up for that. Yeah. Nat, Nat Geo coming after me? I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah. I was hoping for at least one, you know, National Geographic photographer to... Exactly. Just get Come right on. in your DMs hey, on man. that one. <laughs>